Hi, my name is Jess. I'm the Director of Intensive Therapy Services at Napa Center, and today we're going to talk about the Riften Pacer. We love using the Riften Pacer as one of our main gait training units at Napa for a couple of reasons. One being, it's really easily adjustable, no tools necessary, which makes it very parent friendly. Um, and also, there are a great number of accessories that you can order with the unit, so you can really customize it to what the user needs. Now, more specifically, what we're going to talk about is something that I get asked all the time. What is the right order to prioritize setting up the gate trainer for the user? Now, I am going to suggest this sequence. First frame, second pelvic harness, third chest harness, and I'll explain why. Step number one, adjust the level that you need the frame to be at to then allow more optimal positioning of these two components. Now, my suggestion would be, first off to eyeball, shoot for somewhere around navel level as a starting point. And that's because, very generally speaking, in the human body, the center of mass is around the belly button level. So that's a really good start off point. Once you adjust the frame there, then shoot for adjusting the pelvic harness. Now, very, very important because if you don't get this positioned right around where the pelvis is, when the user is in good standing position, then you're not gonna allow for really good optimal use of the legs to get this thing going. So step number two, you're gonna try to adjust the pelvic harness to be positioned right around where the natural pelvis is going to hit in good standing position when the user is in the unit. And thirdly, you're going to adjust the chest harness. Now I feel like the tendency to adjust the chest harness is usually too high. So hitting up into the axilla or the underarm area and too loose. So not good if you do either of the two. Generally speaking, go ahead and shoot for nipple line as a general ballpark area to shoot for first and make sure you adjust it so that it's fairly snug around the user because then you're not gonna allow for good stabilization, which again, isn't going to keep your user in good alignment to initiate the walking pattern. So more snug is a better way to go.